Hello, it's Luke Pelletier from the ProTax team, and today I will be giving a demonstration on the T3 module inside of ProTax. Before we create our T3 return, it's important that we have our information set up properly beforehand. What I mean by that is the T3 and FX transmission tab under tax settings. So here we can actually enter the transmitter information. And this is what you will need to have that information populate on the return itself, as well as to be able to transmit to the CRA. So make sure that you have filled this out prior to starting the T3. If you would like to set up how your forms are printed in the T3 module, right beside the T3 transmission tab is the print tab. And from here we can select T3 and we can drag and drop and change the order of how things are printed within a T3 return. Once you're ready to create the T3 return, we'll just select the T3 module and then select create a new return. What we can do here is select a client that we already have in QuickBooks or we can add a new client if that if your client is not in QuickBooks. So to do that, all we need to do is select add new, which I'm going to do. You can select and fill out all the information necessary and required to do the return. But for now, I'm just going to select one that I've already done uh, for year end. Let's year start. We'll do 12, 12, 2022 just for fun. All right. And we'll hit save, which will create the T3 return. And here is our newly created T3. So as you'll notice, it automatically selects the T3 Express form. And what this is, is a worksheet produced within ProTax, where you can fill out essential information from the comfort of one form, instead of having to go back and forth between forms. So you can see here we have information and you can enter out any of the personal information necessary. We have T3 income, we have T5 income as well as beneficiaries. So like I said, it's just to be able to do it all in one place instead of having to go form to form. But for the actual CRA forms, you'll see here something like the S11, we have the S8, we have beneficiary where we can go into the beneficiary itself and add all the information there. If you would like to see a PDF version of the CRA form, before filing or printing. You can do so by selecting the form that you'd like to view and then selecting PDF form here at the top of the form list. What this will do is it will generate an example of how that form would look in PDF form. If you would like to print individual slips for the T3 within ProTax, all you need to do is select return actions at the top and select print slips where you will be able to select which slips you'd like to print within the module. Once you're ready to file the T3 or any slips, all you'll need to do is select transmit in the top right here and select either eFile T3 trust return or slips. You will be prompted to generate an XML file from the transmission. And once that's generated, it will be downloaded onto your computer. You will then be prompted to go to the CRA transmission site where you will be able to upload that XML file, which will then be transmitted to the CRA. And that concludes our demonstration on the T3 module inside of ProTax. For more information on T3s and ProTax, as well as to view any other YouTube tutorials that we have about ProTax, please feel free to visit our YouTube page where we have a playlist with other tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.